As you can tell by the title, things are changing. Let's talk about it. So I'm going to do this all in, I guess, one take. I've actually been trying to plan this video out for the entire week. And I just didn't know how to really go about it. Because I don't really do this, right? Well, first things first. I think it's been about a week or two now. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, I changed my YouTube name to just Ja. So for those of you who are pretty, you know, new to the channel. For the past two years, I've been going by the name of Sarlaja. Kind of inspired by RuneScape itself. Um, if you peep, I always talk about RuneScape sometimes when I'm playing like the Souls games. But I actually wanted to change my name for a while too. I just didn't know what to what to come up with. But I think Ja is just perfect for me. So that's the first thing. Also, we changed the banner as well. And I'm loving it. But yeah, clearly if you haven't noticed, I posted a Dark Souls Remastered video a few days ago. Um, basically calling it the finale. Now, I don't want to go on a whole like story because I have actually tried to make this video like last week as well. And I went on a whole like 30 minute talk. Now, I'm not going to try to do that again. But at the start of this year, actually like right before the start of this year. So like December of last year, I made up my mind to basically post content that I, I guess, thought would just be fun to post. Just, I just wanted to have fun pretty much with YouTube. Like this year, I just wanted to have fun with YouTube. Keep in mind that we weren't monetized on the channel. Um, I was actually on my way to being monetized and I wanted to get my watch hours up to 4,000, which is what you need to pretty much be monetized. You need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So yeah, I wanted to get my watch hours up to 4,000, but, but at that point in time, I just decided like, I think I just want to have fun for now until I get, you know, to that point. So late December, like I'm talking about the last week of December, Sekiro is on sale. Now this is where, you know, 2023 starts. So. 2023 comes the first like week of January. I start posting Sekiro content. This is all for fun. Actually, I posted one video. It wasn't meant to be a series. So I actually wasn't planning on doing any type of soul series, but I did get one comment and they said they would love to watch this as a series because it's very entertaining. Like my editing and all that, they like it, it's entertaining. So I was like, you know what? Let me do it for the people. Let me make a series. I always wanted to be that YouTuber that just did gameplay vids and people watched and was entertained, you know. So yeah, I uh, took it. I took I took that comment and ran with it. I did Sekiro, uh, a Sekiro series, and I had fun. Now there is one key note about me is I love all games, but one genre or community, I guess I'm passionate about is the FGC, which is fighting games pretty much. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, after I was done with the Sekiro uh, content, I was planning on just, you know, moving on and playing something else. Um, Hogwarts Legacy was coming out and I was like, yeah, let me play some Hogwarts Legacy on the channel and see how that does. I'm just, you know, experimenting and having fun at the same time. I'm just, that's all I was doing, just experimenting and having fun. And I posted two videos on that. The game was okay. It, it wasn't bad. Uh, I just felt like that, that content was way too saturated, just like most, you know, new games. For a smaller creator, it's, it's, it's always oversaturated. So now after that, my watch hours on YouTube is literally almost like there. I'm almost like right there to becoming monetized. I have like 50 more watch hours remaining. But if you guys know, as a YouTuber, every year the watch hours reset or go down pretty much. So you kind of have to keep up with the, the numbers pretty much. Now it's a numbers game at this point. So every day you'll look at your watch hours and it will go down literally. Like It won't reset straight to zero. It will just go down. So me, I'm trying to keep up with that and not like lose that momentum. So I decide I'm going to play Dark Souls on the channel. Just just one video because I knew it was going to do well. I'm going to be real with you guys. I just didn't think it'd do that well. I, I honestly saw this video doing like 3000 views max because that's just how I assumed that it would do. I didn't expect it to do what it did. <laughs> this video is currently sitting at like 380,000 and that's 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 a blessing. I'm not going to lie. And I appreciate all of you for that. But yeah, I posted the video, you know, and yes, Elden Ring Pro is not meant to be taken uh, literally, guys. You guys don't know me well enough, so you wouldn't know, but it's it's satire. I've seen all the comments, but trust me, it ain't meant to be taken literally. So yeah, uh, I do the Dark Souls video and literally, um, I want to say in three days, it got like 4,000 views. I'm like, huh, okay, it's good. I'm, I can be monetized now, mind you. My mindset of 2023, this is February now. My mindset of 2023 is just to have fun, just post whatever I wanted. It wasn't too like, you know, I didn't care about views like that. I just wanted to be monetized and just have fun. And then eventually I'll think I'll fall into something that I'm truly passionate about. 
even though I kind of knew what I was passionate about, just at the time, you know, certain games wasn't out for me to play yet, which we'll get to. So yeah, uh, I posted Dark Souls. It did well. I got monetized like the same week and the video just started booming. And this is where I fell into the trap. And then, you know, I see this and I'm thinking maybe I could do this. You know, people are asking for another one. So maybe I could keep it going because mind you, the video was short on purpose as well. It was supposed to be kind of like a summary of an Elden Ring player just going through a Dark Souls experience. Obviously, it wasn't the entire game, but I just wanted it to be one a one off thing pretty much. So the episode was literally like 10 minutes, but people wanted to see more and people were saying the video was too short. They want to see more, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, OK, I mean, I could do something with this. I could gain momentum with this. So me, I'm like, okay, let me snowball this then. Cause this is what YouTubers do. They, they take something and they run with it and just keep going, keep going, keep going. So it's going well. Um, we do the whole Dark Souls three series and I had no plan. I just kept doing it. There was no plan in, in what I was doing. I just kept doing the same thing, you know, new episode, whatever. Now I did mention the word passion and this is where things get screwed. I, I'm not passionate about, you know, Soulsborne content. I love the game, but passion is not is not in the vocabulary for me with this uh, genre. So towards the end of the series, you know, if you guys remember, my Gale video got corrupted. And because of that, I felt really bad. Mind you, I'm, I'm doing this for y'all now. Like at this point, it's like, screw what I what I want. I'm just doing it to please y'all, which is the trap I fell into. So I'm like, damn. You know, that got corrupted and I feel so bad. I didn't want to leave y'all hanging on the last episode. So obviously, because I felt bad, I told myself, all right, let me... Because I, I didn't want to play another Souls game, at least not right away. And people were asking me if I was going to play like Dark Souls 2 or, or 1 or whatever. Here was the actual plan. I was going to do Dark Souls 3 first and then be done. Go to Dark Souls 1 when I ever come back and then go to Dark Souls 2. That was going to be like the order I was going to play the game. But yeah, because the video got corrupted, I decided to take it upon myself to, I guess, to start Dark Souls 1 like right away. Just that's just the guilt I felt for not uploading that kill fight. That's how guilty I felt. I don't know why, but yeah. So I kind of took that sacrifice to go pursue other content that I wanted to make. And I said, let me just do Dark Souls 1. And boy, when I tell you, bruh, the first day I touched Dark Souls Remastered, I ain't gonna lie. The game was slow as hell. And I'm like, oh God. Now, I don't have a problem with classic, you know, old school games, slow games. I don't have a problem with it. But when it comes to making content, it's different for me because I can play a game solo by myself and actually enjoy it and explore and take my time and all that. But when it comes to games that are really slow and I'm making content, I, ge I genuinely start to get bored. Not of the game, it's really like the content and the energy that goes into it that I just get tired of. And it's like, I'm already here. I don't wanna just up and leave right now. So let me just start posting this content. And then people started asking for longer episodes. You guys wanted longer episodes. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give it to you. This is also where I messed up because I like short episodes, especially because I can pump videos out faster. The me rewatching my own video and editing and, you know, doing all that, like the energy is just there for me when I'm doing shorter videos. I don't mind doing like 20 minute videos here and there, but I like like 10 to like 15 minute videos. That's my like my my middle ground. So you guys wanted like 20 to 30 minute videos. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I don't mind. And as time, you know, goes on, I'm starting to just slow down a little bit. I'm starting to kind of resent the series now. I love the game, but the series I'm starting to get like tired of doing. And all of this is because I just lack the passion of souls. There was actually one video I wanted to make that was, you know, a souls game video. Um, it was going to be pertaining to, you know, kind of like fighting games in a way. And I even had the thumbnail for it and everything ready, but I just never did it because I don't know. I just never went through with it because I just wasn't passionate about the, the, the genre. And I was contemplating, I'm like, I don't really want to stick with this, uh, this, this motion that I'm going through. And then whenever I would upload other videos, some of y'all, you know who you are, would be telling me, bruh, play Dark Souls 1 only on the channel, blah, 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 stuff like that. When if you actually peep my channel, my channel isn't a Souls channel. It's, it's, it's more than that. But now we reach the finale of Dark Souls 1 and I uploaded it and you guys seen what happened. I didn't beat the boss and I did that on purpose. I actually could have, you know, grinded my ass off to fight that boss one and eventually beat it. 
but I actually didn't beat the boss on purpose because I know that there's DLC still remaining. There's other bosses that I haven't fought. And I want to actually save that for when I come back to, you know, some Souls content. So purposefully, I named the, you know, video Finale Part 1 or whatever. Because, I don't know, it's going to be multiple parts for real, to be honest. But yeah, we're not going to finish this series right now. And that's what I came here to tell you guys is things are going to be changing on the channel. And if you've noticed, I've been uploading Street Fighter content uh, for the past week as well as the Souls stuff. And I'm going to actually change my content to, I guess... FGC stuff, mainly Street Fighter and possibly Project L and, you know, Naruto Storm Connections and all that because I love Naruto as well. I'm a Naruto fan. So yeah, we're going to be changing up the content entirely. And I wanted to tell you guys this before I before I officially just up and, you know, switch the content because I got to let you guys know. Y'all subscribe for this and I am very appreciative of the, what, 4,000 of you that subscribed strictly off of solo stuff because i was at 1300 before you know i i guess boomed a little bit but i'm very appreciative of all of you and i'm very thankful all the people that enjoy my content i'm glad i could actually like entertain you guys and that's honestly what i was aiming for just not in this way not in this very moment so the reason why i'm making this move is basically so i can grow in one thing that i'm truly passionate about which is fighting game content we're gonna grow through that and basically branch out as you know we expand and grow you know on the channel that's the ultimate plan for me that's the long-term plan for me it does pain me to, to do this but you sometimes you got to make that decision what's best for your channel and everything at least in the long term and how youtube works is pretty much because i have you know you guys as a community right now youtube is gonna not put out my like street fighter content as much because my current audience is mainly like souls so if you guys don't watch those videos, YouTube will kind of punish me for that because my click-through rate is going to be low because my audience isn't, you know, interested in my fighting game content. So I have to keep posting Street Fighter videos now to kind of get out of that, you know, zone pretty much. It's going to take a while, but that's just how it is. So for now, I'm just going to be sticking with that. And hopefully you guys understand. I am thankful to have entertained all of you. Trust me, as the years go by, I'm gonna get better with the editing and more entertaining and all that. It's a whole process, it's a journey. I'm learning, we're all learning. And remember to be sure to do what you want in life. If you kind of, you know, do things for other people, it's gonna mess you up. And that's kind of what I did. And even in real life, I've been, I, I've been like that. And I finally made that decision to do the whole YouTube thing about three years ago. And I know one day I'm not gonna regret that decision that I'm making. So do what you guys truly wanna do in life. Don't let the outside things pressure you. Just do what you're truly passionate about because it's one thing to love something. So another thing to be passionate about it. So just find that thing that you're passionate about. You may, you may do other things on the side until you find that passion. But once you find that passion, genuinely just go with it. If you feel it in your gut, at least. So that's my tip to you. Whatever you want to be, go for it. If you want to be a YouTuber, start now, bitch. <laughs>